Hey uh, viewers, Jimmy Nixon here. Mr. Peck is currently away on his brother's stag do. Uh, I believe getting pelted by paintballs. We're playing Milton away today. Uh, Milton got promoted from Div 1 last year. Uh, had a bit of a rough start to the season. I think they've played 10 games, uh, won two of them. Um, but a really good bunch of lads, a good team, better than, better than what the table says. It should be a really tight contest. So Milton have won the toss and decides to bat. Callum Rutherford is opening the bowl in for Wheatley here. And lovely little uh, dink down for four runs. In comes Jordan for his first over of the day. And into George's gloves and slash feet. Oh, and that's a beautiful ball by Jordan. Straight through the guards and uh, bales have flown off. Oh, that is close. That's uh, hit back to the bowler. Cal puts his hand up, doesn't stick, and they go through for one run. Oh, and that's edged. Just gone past uh, second slip, Andy there. And I think that's gone all the way down to the boundary. It has four runs. Jordan coming in for a second over here, and that is hit the stumps. That's another fantastic ball from Jordan. That's two down for Milton. And that's Edge. Oh, and it's Annie. So close at second slip. What a fantastic effort that was for Manny there. Oh, and that was close to the edge of the bat there. Good ball by Cal. Chipped up in the air, it's nearly caught by Eddie. But that's race to the boundary, and that is a lovely four. And that's Edge. We've got a man down here, stopped by Cal. And uh, come down for a quick single on that one. Oh, that was, a, I think, an inside edge into the pads there. Good balling by Callaghan. And that is a beautiful shot, half volley. Dispatched down the ground for four runs. There's a lot of noise going on here, there's planes and there's a hell of a lot of wind, so I do apologise for that viewers. Oh, another lovely ball, but that's another no ball. So let's see what uh, the Milton batsman can do with this free hit. And that's another no ball, so another free hit. And that's edge and that is caught, but it's a free hit, so it's not out. Just moved Annie out of slip here. That's another no ball, that's another catch. Uh, nine lives this batsman. Cal needs to sort his run up I think. Come back one step. And another free hit for the batsman here. Let's see what he does with this one. Uh, not a lot. Um, that was the bales came off there. Um, before Jordan finishes his run-up. Um, like I said, we're in the middle of a field uh, with absolutely no cover, so it's uh, tornado weather here. In comes Jordan for his next ball. And batter hits into the offside, no run. So, John O'Ellis coming on to bowl here in replacement of Cal Rutherford. And that is chipped up in the air, inches away from John o. So they've moved Tom out to slip into a catching position here. And the batter has picked that one up really well, smacked it. And another four runs. So the Jolly Shepherd coming on to ball here, Cal Harrison. Uh, Jordan coming off after 
A brilliant opening spell. And that's uh, kind of lovely down to uh, open position back here. Toppers picks up into the stumps. One run. And that's again thumped into the leg side. No fielder there. Four more runs. That's that big shot. It's in the air. Munch is running after that one. It's going to drop just short. And uh, they're going to run a quick single on that one. I don't know how to work it first. Yeah? Who's the bit you keep at? You're the keep at? Um, George Lewis. Oh, right, that's right. Yeah, because um, Mad Dog is away with Army. Is he? Yeah, so I normally do it. <laughs> you, you've been keeping, haven't you, a bit? Yeah. yeah. Got what it deserved. Big swing, no ding. Ah! Close. Six. Put it last. So Jono's uh, spells ended there and uh, we're bringing on the other spin twin, Munch is coming on spin at this twin. end. Yes Jono, spin twin. <laughs> so my co-commentator with me at the moment is a five year old Jono Ellis Jr. Uh, and Jono, what are you doing tomorrow? Uh, play cricket. What are you doing, dynamos? And who's coaching you? You. Me, correct. And that is whacked out towards the cars and that's four runs and thank god I parked my car in the corner. So Milton starting to put a bit of a partnership together here, 66 for two, in comes Carl Harrison. Um, I disappeared for a couple of hours, I do apologise, we had a bit of an issue with the iPad and the scoring uh, and the infamous Luke Tong took over for a couple of hours. So Tong you obviously you fractured your finger, how are you, uh, how are you doing? Picked a good week to have it off. Yeah, good week? Yeah. Why, because of the test match? That, nah, and it's been nice. Oh, it's been nice weather, good point. And uh, have they got any idea how long you're going to be out for? Oh, what a beautiful ball, straight through bats and pads. He's unlucky, he's turned it. <laughs> yeah, lo <laughs> lovely wicket there. New batter in here for Milton, and comes Munch, and a slow to turn again. Milton's ringer, Will Taylor. Oh, good hand. Picked up by Munch, and he comes. Oh, <laughs> wow! You couldn't got closer than that. Great ball by Munch. Oh, and that's edge. Do you want to? Oh, so close. Looking at the replay there, I think he edged it, hit George's helmet, went up in the air and John nearly got it. And that is right in front and that's LBW's gone. Well bowled again by Carl Harrison. So four down now Milton, and in comes Carl again. And that's uh, guided beautifully down for four runs, what a shot that was. Lovely flight, that's come up here. Oh, one bounce, four runs. Great effort by Eddie there. A few uh, wondering who the character was coming across the screen, flying through the air. Oh, that okay, that was up in the air, just, uh, just short of munch. 
and that is a smash. A bit short, leg side and dispatched for four runs. The halfway point of the uh, innings for Milton here, 83 for four. And we continue with the Jolly Shepherd. And that is a fantastic cover drive. All the way to the boundary for four runs. Good start to the second half. And that is hit out again. All the way to four. Another beautiful shot. Oh, so close. Chasing down, they're going to go for two. They are. Going to be close. No, not. Throw not quite good enough. Oh, that was a bit shorter, that's raced out to the boundary. Jordan's chasing after, but he can't get there. Four runs. And there are loads of flight there, too much flight. <laughs> and we're going to follow that one, that's another four runs. Well, unfortunately there guys, I, uh, I missed the wicket. I was changing battery, so I do apologise. Uh, Munchy first ball of the over. Just tried short again by Cow, inside edge. So close again. That's a lovely shot. Tom's chasing after it. Is he going to get there? No, nope. that's four more runs. Good pattern here for Milton. Uh, the scoreboard's ticking along very nicely. So if you're wondering why I've, I've not been updating you much on the scores, because I don't have a clue what the scoreboard says. Is it 148, 118? Um, I'm pretty sure it said 87 about two minutes ago, so I think it's 118 for five. Oh, what a shot game. Whose car is that hitting? Oh, just misses them. Nearly hit some doggers instead. Oh. Oh, and the extra pace ball nearly does him. Yeah. So close. So Jordan coming back onto ball now. 20 overs to go. And that's uh, first shot. Full toss. And uh, that's gone to the boundary for four. And if you don't believe me how windy it is, check out that umpire's jacket. Because John's swinging a miss. Off George's knee, up like a painful one. Yep, there you go. And that again is absolutely whacked. And that is four runs. One bounce four. I think I might have to ask Pecky for a pay rise there. Because this weather is horrendous, but this is great cricket again, that's four more runs. Ball there by Munch. They're going to go for it, direct it. Oh, it's going to be close. Not out. Oh, and again, just picked that up so well. And uh, four more runs. Really good pattern here for Milton, just waiting for the bad ball and, and punish them when they come. Oh! That was sort of an outside edge to gully. Would have been a good catch though. Oh, that was a absolute peach of a ball and I don't know how that missed. Change of ball here, Captain Eddie Toss coming in. Uh, first ball a bit of a loosener. I hate you. And that's lovely. A bit of width on that and uh, he's guided that down to the boundary for four more runs. Oh, and that's edged. Unlucky there by Eddie. It's going to go down for four runs. So I'm being reliably informed that it is now up to date. So we're 133 for five, <laughs> 11 overs to go. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's close to the edge of the bat there. Well, ball Jordan. And that is over to Ralph. Oh, just above his head. And that's six runs. And well batted there, sir. That's your 50 runs up as well. Beautifully played.
And again, that is carved for another four. Beautiful shot. He's seeing the ball very, very well here. And that is in the air. Tom's going for it and a lovely catch. So Jordan's finished the spell. Johnny Wallace has come back into the attack. Ah, and that's a lovely ball. And Eddie takes another wicket. Oh, so we're getting innings here from Stephen Lingley and batting. And uh, he's picking up these singles as well. Where's Gorham? Polly, calm down. Oh, and that's uh, unlucky Barney. That's going to go for four runs, and uh, I think that brings up the 200 for Milton there. So five overs to go. John are coming into ball here. That's a good start there. And that's edge. That's just short of first slip. Appealing for that one. Oh, and he's walking off, and there he is. Jono, well deserved that wicket there. George will be happy, that's the second one he's caught off the stumps now. Got one last week, so. Smilled snake down now. And oh, and that was pretty close to the off stump as well. I don't have one. It's up in the air. Toppers picks it up, and they come through for a quick single. And that's flicked off his legs, and that's another four, and that's getting him ever closer to 80 runs at a strike rate close to 100 as well. So brilliant, brilliant batting here. Oh, and that's edge. George just missed that. It's come down to us. Hit the bag, and that's another four. Two overs to go here. Eddie comes steaming in. Ah, oh, and that's a fantastic ball. And then lucky by that batter. That to get some nine down. <laughs> well, that is it. Um, great effort by Stephen Lingley there. 84 runs you there off 80, 80 balls. Um, so really well played. And uh, yeah, Jono has got that final wicket. So Milton finish on 215 for 9, um, again well batted Stephen Langley there, everyone contributed for the wickets and I'll see you in the second half. So Mil Milton finished the innings on 215 all out, uh, opening for Wheatley is uh, Tom Warfield Munch and Alex Menden is opening the ball in for Milton, quick single there. Yeah, we're coming to the second over here, and it's uh, starting to rain. Absolute mad weather at Milton. Uh, that is a lovely shot from Tom. That's coming down into the boundary. That's the first four of the game for Wheatley. It's starting to rain quite heavily now, so I'm going to head into a um, little shack that I can see. So with that little rain delay, we've lost three overs there. Uh, and with the awesome mathematicians that were Duckworth and Lewis, the new target is 209. And that is a jammy edge, down for four runs. Munch is off the mark. What a beautiful ball, great line and length. So this brings young Annie Suresh to the wicket. Annie's finished his GCSEs, he tells me he's got all nines. Um, and he's off to a school in York. What a beautiful shot that was, by the way, off his legs. And that's gone all the way to the boundary for four. 
Uh, and yeah, so he's got a scholarship to a school in York. Have a guess why? Because of his cricket. You're not going over and round. That was a big swipe there by Munchie and uh, Adam Mendham's finally got his edge. One bowler, just see him off. So with that second wicket, um, brings in vice captain Richard Topham. And that's another peach of a ball by Mendo there. Great over and good spell so far. And that is carved through the gap beautifully. Milton chasing after it, but that's uh, no avail. And that's four runs for Annie. And he takes a few steps down. That was very close to his off stump there. Some good balling. Come out for a quick single there. A uh, really good stop from the field. He sort of slid and stopped the ball with his back. Very strange. So Will Taylor coming in for his second over. There's a bit of a full toss and that's gone through the gap. That's heading towards the pavilion. That's four runs. Oh, what a lovely follow-up ball. Again, I'm not sure what Toppers could have done about that. That was uh, an absolute beaut. So there we say a little mini collapse here for Wheatley again. This brings uh, George Lewis to the, the crease. Um, yeah, 180 runs still acquired. And uh, yeah, let's see if George can stick in and support Annie on this. And uh, unfortunately, Annie went for the run. George didn't make it back. It's a bit of a mad minute there, so just to try and explain that. So George um, hit that square leg. Square leg fielder, misfield it. Annie called the run. Um, the player behind the square leg um, fielder Picked the ball up, tripped towards the bowler. The bowler went to hit the stumps. The umpire thought the ball was out of his hand and he didn't actually hit the stumps. Um, but George disagreed and being the sportsman that he is, he walked off. It definitely looked like it was gripping and turning when Cal and uh, Munch were bowling. So let's see what this uh, Milton spinner can do with the ball. And that's misfielded again. And that's come for another four. It's a lovely cut shot there. It's a full toss, it's an edge. And the uh, fielder's not getting that. That's another four runs. And that's a short bouncer. And he's picked that up. And that is an absolutely glorious shot. And that's come for four more runs. That's his third one of the over. Short again and punished by Annie. You don't want to be bowling there to someone of Annie's quality, unfortunately. That's four fours and that one over. So they're bringing Adam Mendham back on, uh, see if they can break this partnership. Um, and that's a beautiful shot by Cal. Uh, off his legs, come for four runs. It's probably worth mentioning I've been to the test match for the last two days. Um, so my vocabulary isn't what it normally is. So the fact that I've said beautiful shot 40,000 times, I'd like to apologise to the viewers. This isn't my normal uh, level of intelligence. Um, and I'm sure Packy can work wonders in the editing room to see if he can remove some of them. Oh, and that's hit. In between the two fielders, and that's four more runs from Cal. Wheatley's starting to accelerate a bit here. Oh, and that's as the first slip dropped. Um, they come through for a single. Great efforts, great chance. It comes. Carl goes down the ground. 
and it's gone for a massive six. Oh, and it's carved to the boundary. That is stunning again by Annie. Just makes it look so simple, doesn't he? And that is again found the gap between the two fielders and a lovely four from Callum. And we march on. I think we're up to uh, 80, 81, I think now. So, uh, yeah, starting to chip away at this score. Oh, and that was so close to chopping onto his stumps there for Callum. And he's absolutely punished that again. Into the fields. I think we might need the spare ball on that one because that's long grass. So there's 25 overs to go here. They're not stopping for drinks just yet because obviously we've lost out on three overs. And Callum, that's just stunning cover drive. Uh, nonchalantly punches that three for four. Oh, and that's just flicked down to the boundary for four more runs. And again, stunning. All the way out to the boundary, there's the score box, and that takes Wheatley past the 100, and I believe it takes Cal ahead of Annie as well on the scoreboard. And he gets a bit of that this time, but fielder down there does fantastic to stop that. They come back for two, potentially three, no, just the two. Oh, and again, sorry, apologies, I didn't see where that ball went, but it's uh, sped out to the boundary, and another four for Annie. So with that six, that takes Callum on to his 50. Absolutely fantastic baton there. And... Um, him and Annie are putting a right partnership together here, trying to pick up this total by themselves. Annie's gone over the top there, and that is straight to the fielder, and that's well caught. So Jordan's come in for uh, Annie, and a uh, little inside edge there from Cal, and they scamper for a quick single. Oh, and I think he has found the edge on that one. Bottom edge. It's a bottom edge, four runs. I mean, a mid on the game. Shot. Ah, uh, that is a gorgeous shot by Cal. Another four, and he continues his uh, fast scoring right here. Oh, he's chipped yeah, out. Nice, Cal, nice, buddy. He's gone for another four. I tell you that we tested him out in the pool. Oh, and that's again the fielder. No, gone past him there. So apologies for the rubbish camera work, but that's another four runs. So we are currently uh, 51 runs to win, 15 overs to go, and uh, Mendo's coming back on for his final spout. And that has come up here. And that is just on the line. That's four runs. Lucky from that fielder there, great effort. No. Ooh, ouch. Okay. And that's good. Good. Yeah, nice. full good toss, it. one bounce, four runs. <laughs> Adam coming in for his last over here. Jordan's yeah. absolutely pulverised that. I think that was. Yeah, okay, that's gone for four. That is a horrendous full toss. Uh, have they called that an overall? Oh well, obviously not there. And he's bold and next ball. Hmm, bit of controversy there, but well backed Cal. Got into his 70s and uh, a good follow up ball there by Mendo. With that superb 
innings from Cal come to an end. It brings captain Eddie Tofts to the crease. And uh, good start, guided down for a quick single. Good, Ed. And Eddie's gone for that one. That is actually into the gap. Plugged. Uh, yeah, plugged into oh, it. Gone. No, it's gone. This field. Oh dear. Four. Oh, Eddie. Called it. There you go. Tracked a bit uh, short there, and Eddie's punished it deservedly so. Eddie's nudged that. Oh, it's gone by. Shot Ed. Gully, and that's gone for four runs. That takes the weekly score to 190 now. Slowly chipping away at this uh, total. Oh, that's a lovely recovery ball. That's a full toss. Let's hit up into the air. And the field is there. And he's, oh, he's dropped it. Oh. Oh, and Jordan's picked that up. There is a fielder here, but it's beaten him. Hit the score box. And that's four more. And I think that takes him onto the 200. So we only need nine more runs here to win this game. And uh, there's one of them. And uh, I think this time around, I don't think uh, the bowler can have any excuse on that one. And uh, I think they might be looking to do this in ones and twos. And there's another two runs there. Loads of space opening up in the field. Six to win here. Eddie steps down. And now playing really intelligent cricket here. Don't say that often about Eddie. And they've come back for another two after a miss field. And Jordan Jordan. has flicked that towards the pavilion. That's four runs and that's game over. So really well finished off there by Jordan and Eddie. Um, yeah, it was a hard match actually. 215 was a, was a great score, um, but the, the team played really well. Um, Adam uh, Mendham bowled superbly for Milton and I'm pretty sure they'll do okay in the season if they play like that every single week. Um, and uh, yeah, well batted to the, to the Wheatley boys. Um, saw us over the line after a couple of early dismissals. And uh, as you know, with Wheatley, we always worry about that um, uh, massive um, collapse that uh, normally happens. We're, um, we're back next week against Retford, um, at Retford, I should say. Um, so please tune in again. And if you like the video, please comment uh, and please subscribe. And you'll be glad to know Pecky's back next week as well. Um, but I'm sure I'll be there doing a bit of co-commentary. See you soon.